All right, so we're down at the shop today and uh, we're gonna do a little modification of the dump trailer. Uh, I've got a need to spread a little gravel down here. And in the past, the way I've done it is I've roped this all the way up to the truck. And that way I can control the up and down of the thing. And I'm gonna do away with that. Uh, I'm gonna, I got a remote control. Uh, pick this up on Amazon. Uh, real simple, it's an epoxy potted control box. It's got an up and down on the uh, on the box itself. And we can get to it here. We got a handy dandy little remote that we can leave in the truck. It's got a little cover over the front. Uh, basically you flip that up and you can control the dump from the truck or if you're back here you do that. The one thing I have not liked about this trailer uh, is this this cable here it gets all wadded up and uh, we're going to do away with that. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to get to it. All right, so here's what we got so far. We got a couple of wrenches. Um, we are going to have to disconnect the hot. Uh, I'm going to pull the hot off of this lug to the control box. Um, really, we're only going to use a hot, a ground, and uh, the return and the retract or the return and extend lines. Um, this is energized to uh it looks like this may be energized to go up or down uh, and then this is obviously running the pump so we'll have to look at that wiring and see what's actually turning on it's a little bit difficult with the probe light because there's such a draw on the battery um it barely lights the probe light on the up on the down it's really easy to tell what's going on um so but we're going to get to it the big thing it'll do for me is i will be able to eliminate all of this uh cable uh, I'm probably going to cut this back a little bit and just tie into the what they've already done here at the factory um, just to simplify things that way I can unhook and, and hook it up and if I needed to I could always go back and match these up and put this back on there but this being inside of here is a mess because you gotta you can see how easy it is for it to get caught up on stuff in there but this should clean that up and uh, we should have remote operation Okay, so we got the controller chopped off. Uh, one thing I want to notice on my particular trailer, this color coding does not match this co color coding. Uh, so I had to do a little bit of remap in there, not a big deal. So this uh, this actually only uses two wires out of the harness, up and down. Um, I believe on this one's blues up, gray is down. Um, that connects up to the down, which is here. And the solenoid which activates the pump is here so this this is white and green on this side again does not match up here um on this side of the connector i could have trimmed this back and looked and see which pin it was but i didn't want to damage this this side of the connector uh, so i just ohmed it out and now we have up and down function so the device is on now we can go up and we can go down that simple uh, so we got a we got to mount this i'm thinking about mounting it to the top of that battery connector that way it'll just fold up and it'll keep everything out of the way um and then we'll see how the wireless does it says to put it outside the metal box to do that i'd have to drill a hole and put a grommet uh which i don't particularly want to do but i'm interested to see if it'll still work without doing that okay so this uh drastically cleaned up this a lot less wiring uh, i may put a little loom here and basically what I'm gonna do is run, when I run the strap over, it'll conveniently, I'll kind of offset a little bit here. Uh, we'll actually grab a hold of this and hold this. That way, if I ever need to change the battery or anything, I can take all this all out all, all at once, disconnect the connector, and it'll be really easy to mess with if I ever do need to work on it. Um, this antenna connector does clear the, the roof, get, provides about that much clearance, so that's good. And uh, we should be done. Kind of just show you here. We're still on. So this is the controller. Um, so basically you just flip this up. And it's going to be hard to see out here in the sun. Maybe I can get it. So we're, we're active now. If we want to go up. We just hit up. And then we hit down. Voila. Um, I'm going to go out here a little distance. See how well this works at a distance so i'm going to add a little bit of extra distance because i'm going to be inside the truck and hopefully this will still work 
Yeah, not a problem. So that's going to be convenient and handy. Uh, I can just pop the tailgate, get my load, and I can actually use the spreader function on this trailer now. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Hope this helps some folks out. Uh, the only major difference, uh, this, this does come with this orange wire here. Um, so this would be if you had a power down pump. If I can get it out here. Um, so I just dead ended that. But that orange wire will let you do a, if you have a pump that actually powers down. Uh, mine's just gravity, um, so I only had to use two wires. But this particular unit uh, will do multiples. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.